Chapter five, watch out. There are fun things you can do on the internet, but not everything you see or hear on the internet is nice or even true. Toolbox, many web services collect data about us. Sometimes it's data we provide ourselves, such as our name or email address, and sometimes it's the things we click on. There are criminal elements active online and new threats appear every day. That's why security and privacy require alertness. Security is one of the biggest challenges facing the internet. On the internet, you can increase security with hardware and software, but in the end, it is our own behavior that counts. Ruby's rules for safe surfing. Not everything online is the truth. Be aware of ads and don't let the trolls make you sad. Always tell a responsible adult if you come across anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Personal data is personal. Keep it to yourself. Do not share information such as your address or phone number. Many apps and websites collect information about you. Check out the settings to opt out and choose what access each application gets. Act your age. The services for kids have stricter rules. The internet remembers everything. Never write or upload things you don't want to remember in a few years time. Cyberbullying is bad. Don't respond to messages that are rude or make you feel uncomfortable and always tell an adult. Passwords are good. Learn to make strong passwords and memorize them. Malware often hides. Check with your parents before downloading or installing apps. Discuss. Do you have any other rules that you have agreed on at home or at school? Exercise 24, privacy. Data selfie. We share a lot about ourselves on the internet. Websites found out, find out your preferences and habits as you use their services. Fill out the following pieces of data about yourself. It's okay if you haven't done all the things on the list, just skip the unnecessary ones. Five things you've searched online, four things you've liked or given a thumbs up, three videos you've watched, two places you've been with a phone, and one person you've messaged. Ask your family members or friends to do the same. Mix the selfies and try to guess who is who based on the data. How old might the person be? Draw a selfie based on the data. Put up your portraits and have a mini art show. Discuss which one of these is a thing you'd share with your best friend, which one with a stranger. Download the data selfie worksheet at helloruby.com slash play and practice more. Exercise 25, privacy. Because anyone can say anything on the internet, you can sometimes run into things that aren't true. To be able to tell what is true and what is a lie, pay attention to the source of the information, who wrote it, when it was posted, and what kind of pictures were used. Fact or opinion. Ruby and Julia are chatting. Which messages are facts and which ones are opinions? Why is a certain statement a fact and another one an opinion? It's really cold outside. The temperature is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to have spaghetti for dinner. I love spaghetti. Did you know that spaghetti grows in trees? No, spaghetti is made of flour. Discuss. Tell two stories, one of which is true and one that is false. Let your friends ask questions and guess which one of the stories is true. See if you can fool your friends. Exercise 26, ad or article. Web advertisements or ads are announcements about things like toys, food, or games designed to make people want to buy them. The internet is full of advertisements. Ads make the free internet possible, but it is not always easy to tell what is an online advertisement. Here is the web page of Ruby's hometown newspaper. Some of the things that appear on the page are news stories and others are advertisements. Save $20, use code SAVE20. These kitten videos will make you laugh. This is or is not an advertisement because what I did last summer. Summer was the best. Read all about my adventures in this story by Ruby. This is is not an advertisement because Sponsored content, five cool things to do after school. This is, is not an advertisement because search bar says, what is the world's best ice cream? The world's best ice cream. Everyone says so, you should try it. Add, list of ice cream flavors, Wikipedia. Find your next ice cream favorite today, add. The 10 places to eat ice cream, travel magazine. Get your ice cream delivered, add. The 11 best summer ice cream flavors of 2018, food store. Which of the search results are ads? Which ones are articles? Which one of the search results fits best Ruby's search best? Your browsing history can be tracked and used for marketing purposes. Can you guess which pages Ruby has visited based on the ads that are shown to her? 
Ruby, your rabbit needs more food. Order now. What kind of page was Ruby visiting? Ruby, buy this wonderful dress today. What kind of page was Ruby visiting? What did we get for homework? Try out the new free mouse hunt game. It's perfect. What kind of page was Ruby visiting? I made a goal. Since you like computers, you might also like this new tablet. What kind of page was Ruby visiting? Free or not? Free games aren't always free. Sometimes you're asked to do something so you can continue to play. What three things can you spot that make this game not altogether free? Free mouse hunt. Uh-oh, you ran out of lives. You can save the cat by choosing watch an ad or purchase diamonds or wait until tomorrow to play again. Limited offer. Ask your friend to sign up and earn more lives. Exercise 27, malware mayhem. Every day, new pieces of malicious software get unleashed online. There are many nasty surprises. There's spyware, trojans, viruses, phishing, and other exploits. Who did it? All the characters on the screen have fallen to the bottom of the screen. Use the clues to solve which piece of malware made the mess. Cascade is eyewitness one. Oh, sorry. The suspects are Cascade, Brain, and My Doom. Eyewitness one. I'm sure the virus had purple and pink in it. Eyewitness two. I think that the virus had either square-shaped eyes or triangle-shaped eyes. Eyewitness three. I'm not sure about anything else, but I know the virus didn't have blue in it. Oh no, the computer has been infected again. This time it's sending TV show quotes as pop-ups every search result. The suspects are Stuxnet, Sasser, and Melissa. Eyewitness one, all I know is that the virus was not purple. Eyewitness two, I think the virus had green or blue eyes. Eyewitness three, I would say that the virus had a short tail and legs. DDOs. If a hacker takes over a computer and starts to send too many requests, it slows down the server. This is called a DDOS, distributed denial of service attack. Oh no, two of the computers are sending too many requests for the poor server and the website is down. Can you find which machines are sending more than one request to the server? Discuss, draw a picture of a virus and name it. How can you protect your computer from catching that particular virus? Exercise 28, malware, phishing. Phishing is an attempt to trick people into thinking a service is real. The fake emails and URL addresses can look exactly like the originals. Which of these addresses belong to Hello Ruby? Which ones belong to someone else? You can look at exercise 17 for help. Is it HTTPS backslash, sorry, colon backslash backslash www.helloruby.com, www.teacher.com slash Hello Ruby, www.helloruby.teachers.com, HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.helonryby.com www.helloruby.com slash teachers. The letter S stands for secure in HTTPS. Black hat hackers try to cause trouble. White hat hackers help to find the loopholes in systems. Exercise 29, security, keep a secret. Most of the information on the internet is open which means routers can look at the data in the packets as they pass it on. If you wanna send a message on the internet and keep it a secret, it is important to encrypt the data first. Encryption is like a code that protects the data as it travels. The data is put back together or decrypted when it reaches its destination. Julia has written two messages and encrypted them using the code key below. In this encryption, every picture represents a letter. Can you use the key to decrypt Julia's message? I have blown up the decoder and the messages so you can figure it out. You can make your own encryption key at helloruby.com slash play.